What's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I will be showing you how to get an iOS 7 through 8.0.2 screen recorder on your iOS device named Shoe. Now, the reason I say 8.0.2 is because in the upcoming release of iOS 8.1, you will be unable to do the day trick due to Apple's patching of it. So, if you want to continue to get amazing applications like emulators and screen recorders, do not update to 8.1 because you will be unable to do so. But with that being said, let's begin. Alright, getting the shoe screen recorder is very simple and to do it all you have to do is open Safari and in the URL type in emuforios.net. And now this will take you to a web page where you'll be able to download an additional application which is called the emu for ios store and within that application we can get the shoe screen recorder so once the page loads you can read there that it says that the, the date trick is required so go ahead and click install hit install again and now quickly head to your settings then scroll down to general date and time Turn off set automatically and scroll your date back at least 24 hours. You can do more just to play it safe. However, as you can see, our emu for iOS store is now there. And our first application there is the shoe screen recorder and broadcaster. So go ahead and click on that. Hit install. Hit install again. And it will begin to install the application. And then once the application is finished installing, open it one time. And then you can head back into your settings and turn on turn on set automatically and then go back to the application you will have to do this each time your ios device turns off now using the shoe screen recorder does require sign up so by clicking on the bottom you can enter a username an email and a password and it works very similar to twitch.com and that's because this also works as a broadcasting service besides just recording your screen. So if you ever wanted to, you can go ahead and go live and show your screen off to the world. But as you can see, once you register and sign in, you have this nice interface here that says start broadcasting or start recording. You also have your recordings and more. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a recording and it's very simple and you can adjust it however you like by pressing the little I for information and you can choose the format, the orientation, so this is if you're playing landscape games, you can choose the resolution, though I suggest you stay on 1080p, and then you can choose the bitrate, which the best quality would be to go for the higher bitrate. To record, all you have to do is click on start recording and as it just suggested, we need to turn on assistive touch to record OpenGL games and make sure you press OK on the microphone if you wanted to record your voice. Now, what it says about assistive touch is you go into your settings, general accessibility and turn on assistive touch. But I prefer to turn on assistive touch through a shortcut and that is by triple tapping the home button and turning it on there. Now the reason you turn on assistive touch is to record OpenGL games now these are games like minecraft infinity blade clash of clans and basically the mo the newer and bigger applications from the app store rely on opengl as well as emulators so if you ever start recording and you see that you get a black screen that is because the game is opengl and you can only record it with assistive touch on so as you can see I'm playing Minecraft right now and I have assistive touch on so then when I go back into my recording I should be able to see what I did in Minecraft if I did not have assistive touch on it would just be a black screen so heading back into our shoe application to stop a recording all you have to do is select stop recording and then when you head into your recordings you can see that your recording is there it does not have a name but you can tell by the time that it started by clicking on it you can save it to the camera roll make sure you give it access to your camera roll and you can also play it within the actual application so as you scroll through it this may be a bug in the version of shoe that i have because it is still in beta it's not complete Hopefully bugs will be fixed in the future, but as you scroll, it kind of gets buggy, but that's actually not with your recording. That may be just with the way that the recording was, but as you can see, I did record whatever I did in Minecraft there, and it worked just fine. So now going into our photos application, because I did save it to the camera roll, 
um, you can now see that my recording is there. You can click on it and from here you can watch it again if you so choose, but you can also share it to YouTube or messages or whatever you choose to do. And you can do that just by clicking the square with the arrow at the bottom left and then clicking whichever option you see viable. And of course you can upload it to YouTube by just inserting your own information. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this new shoe screen recorder. It is still in beta from the release of this video, so it is not perfect. If you encounter any bugs, make sure you contact the developers by their Twitter handle or email, which I'll leave in the description, to report anything to them so that they can fix the application and make it better. I try to help you guys as much as I can in the comments section below, but sometimes it does get a little crazy. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please leave a like and show your support for the shoe screen recorder. As well as if you have not hit that subscribe button, I highly recommend that you do so to be notified whenever I upload a video, because I make videos on the latest and greatest things iOS every week. And if you're interested in watching some more videos, click on one of the two on screen or follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.